Nadia, gosh, actually this March it's going to be 12 years. We met 12 years ago in Miami at the Winter Music Conference. At that time we were both just spectators, you know, <laughs> just there to see some cool DJs, have a good time. Uh, we met at a club. And she's like an amazing person and I, I honestly like think that she's one of the best like lyricists that I've ever heard. I mean, the way that she writes and like is able to touch lots of people, like even if she's not talking about something that you can directly relate to, you can make all of her songs like relate to you. So it's just like that's I think where her magic is and it's just definitely been an influence on me to see all the things that she's done. So I met Nadia, I think in 2002. 2000. 2000. I mean, <laughs> I met Nadia in 2000, and it was also in Miami at the Winter Music Conference. She picked up on us at the club. She actually was with two guys, and she basically had these two guys either, you know, had them like introduce us to them, or it just, I, I don't remember, but from that point on, like, we hit it off and have been friends ever since. She was like their bodyguard, actually. <laughs> she was sizing us up, making sure we were okay for her guy friends. So, we made the cut. They didn't, though. <laughs> so. <laughs> Showtime. She's such a strong, smart woman. It's not just that she's a singer, she's a businesswoman. She writes killer songs. I mean, it, it's. I'm so happy for her. And over the years, you know, I've really gotten to know Nadia, and she's become a sister of mine. And you know, I've watched her career blossom, and I've watched her blossom, and it's just this amazing thing of seeing somebody who's so talented and so you know powerful in, in her own right that, and yet you would never know. Like you know, I I often forget what an amazingly talented person she is because she's just the most you know down to earth, loving, gentle person. And I'm not saying that because I'm on camera. I'm saying that because. She really is just as warm as they come. I'm just blown away by like the confidence and the aura that she has on stage. And she can just work a crowd no matter what, like, and just pump them up and get them going. And like, you know, people know all her songs. And, and the last time that we played together, it was like, even just watching her sound check, like, just very professional about it. Everything's perfect. And then once she gets on stage to actually do the show, it's just like, I don't know. She's just definitely a showman, show woman. So much hustle, they want me. So much pressure, so much heat. So much hustle, they want me. I mean, at this point, I'm still just doing my thing. You know, it it's it happens to be that genre of music is, is getting more popular. So it's kind of like people are finding out about my music as opposed to me like doing music that caters to a wider audience. It's just the wider audience is now listening to this format. So I'm not trying to change my style, like I'm still like dance music. Um, I'm grateful for the new exposure, you know, with everything however there's a flip side, you know, a lot more people are listening to it and maybe don't appreciate it the way that, you know, people have appreciated it for a very long time. but. Who's to say, you know, when anyone feels, as long as they're supportive, like, I can't complain. Hey, this is Nadia Ali, and you are watching Are You Entertaining?